Hello, it's your DJ Feels Good Men here with another test of the SL1200 Mark 7 turntable. Uh, in this test, we're going to check two things on the pitch control. Uh, we're going to see if there's really a dead space uh, towards the end and beginning of the pitch control, close to minus 7, minus 8, as well as plus 7, plus 8. And we're also going to check the accuracy to see if uh, the increments are what they should be, uh, meaning to say that if plus 3 is really 3% uh, faster speed, uh, if plus 6 is really 6% faster speed, and so on and so forth. To do this test, we have this turntable connected to a Serato DJ on this laptop with a song that's naturally set to 138 BPM. And uh, we're also going to be using a uh, calculator to calculate the changes in pitch. So right now, um, we have this at zero. Uh, the reset button is pressed. And it should be playing at 138 BPM, which is the song's natural speed. So right now, we have it at 138 BPM. And you can see it fluctuates a bit between uh, the the edge of plus uh, sorry the edge of 137 and the start of 138 by some sort of fractional decimal point or whatever. Um, that's pretty normal. If you haven't used Serato before, this is a normal thing. This is the same as uh, with my Mark II turntable. So 138 BPM, zero. It's staying put where it should be. So the next thing I want to do is to move this to, uh, let's just go plus four, it's on plus four, and we'll turn off the reset button so it's actually going to be at plus four. Now so that's plus four percent and what we should see is that the speed is going from 138 plus four which actually comes out to 138 times 1.04. Um, is a hundred, let's see if you could focus there, 143 and a half ish BPM. So we go back to Serato and we see that it is now playing at 143, bouncing between 143 and 144. It's probably where it should be. Now let's go ahead and test out uh, minus, just picking a random number, minus six. Uh, minus six percent, so it's about there. Minus six percent and that is a hundred twenty nine point seven two and we go over here okay that's about where it should be. Now the test is to see if there's the blind not blind spots but the dead spots at the edge. I don't remember if the dead spot is between seven and eight or six and eight but Let's find out. So, uh, minus six worked uh, correctly. Uh, let's just check plus six, plus seven, and plus eight percent. So at plus six, uh, we should be seeing uh, 138 times 1.06 is 146.28 BPM. And we go back to Serato and we see it about there. Okay bouncing between 146, 147, okay, and then we'll go ahead now and try plus 7 percent, so it's about, about there-ish, I'm not, I know I'm not like super super accurate, but it's about there, and uh, that should be one thir uh, 138 times 1.07 and that should be 147.66. Um, and we go over here, back to Serato, 148, 149. So it's something like 148 point something BPM, basically. So it's a bit faster than it should be. It's almost as if, uh, here's what it should be. It should be 147.66. Um, but it's close. Anyway, so maybe there's a little bit of a ramping up of the uh, control towards the edge. Now we're going to move it to plus 8 and see if that makes any changes. So 
at plus 8 percent what we should be seeing is uh, clear it again 138 times 1.08 we should be seeing 149.04 and so we go back here 148 149 bouncing between the two so uh, I guess it's kind of a little bit hard to see if there's really a change there so what I'm gonna do is this while trying to keep my hands steady I'm gonna move the pitch slider between uh, plus eight percent and plus seven percent and we'll see if there's a change in the way this uh, bounces between 148 and 149 so right now it's at plus eight percent and with my other hand I'm gonna move it down to about seven percent move it back to plus eight so in my opinion it doesn't look like it's really changed much there if I go from 7% down to 6% then we definitely something see something happen there so 6 to 7 there's a change 7 to 8 there is no change and just for curiosity's sake um, well, I'll go to minus 6% right now I'm on minus 6% and we see that it's at uh, 129, 130 BPM and if I go, go to <clears throat> minus 7% it does change so right now I'm at minus 7% and if you listen closely to uh, the vinyl itself, the noise that the stylus makes on the vinyl record you can hear the, the pitch change um, the tone gets lower and then so now I'm going to go from minus 7 to minus 8 doesn't look like there was a change here and that's been expected um, this is uh, maybe just my model okay benefit of the doubt maybe just mine this is uh, a model that was purchased uh, oh about a couple of weeks ago um, maybe it's an old stock who knows but this is something that uh, I already came into uh, expecting the space between uh, 7 and 8 on either side is kind of a dead zone um, yeah so that's that's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm gonna go with there is the dead space there and that's kinda what I expected that's what I heard was there so hopefully uh, that's helpful to you if anyone has other experiences then uh, maybe you're lucky <laughs> maybe um, let me know, but that's what I'm seeing here.